Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today, we'll be reviewing Transformers Buzzworthy Studio Series 86 Autobot Cup. And yes, he is based on that 1980s Autobot Cup. And yeah, I picked this guy up for 10 bucks on eBay, and I'm glad I picked him up. And he came complete with the instructions. No original box on this figure, I'll tell you that much. Because it is a used figure. So I paid a pretty good price for it. Not bad for 10 bucks. And I'm so glad I picked him up in general. But yeah, the new month is coming. And Easter is just around the corner, as many of you know. And I just got through watching a couple Easter movies. Well, ones I remember. Yeah. So, that's for sure. So, I got this figure for... For a good price, which is pretty good. But now we're going to get on to looking at the instructions as we don't have the original box because this is a used figure. Got a product shot of Cup in his robot mode. Not bad for a used figure that comes with the instructions. Studio Series 86 Buzzworthy Cup from Transformers the Movie. Nothing on the back of the instructions, because this is a used figure, so... Other than that, a good-looking figure. But now, we're going to get down to comparisons before we transform this figure. Here we got Transformers Studio Series Core Class. Hot Rod. Blur next to Cup as well. I'm not going to transform... Ultra Magnus or RC or Blaster because they're a pain in the neck to transform in and out of robot mode. But now we're going to transform Cup into his robot mode. Unplug his Energon goodie expenser. Why not? His gun. Got a nice Autobot insignia. Nice rolling wheels. Pretty good. But now we're going to transform it. First, we're going to split this apart. Fold this up. Second verse, just like the first. Up and down. Split this and fold it down. Second verse, just like the first. So far, an easy transformation. And then we're going to pull the arms like out like that. Flip out his robot mode feet. And we're starting to get them transformed. Accordion this up. Pull this backwards. And now we're going to fold the wheels inwards like so. Turn around his classic head. This is much better than the Titan's Return figure I never picked up. I just wasn't a fan of it. And now we... Put this backwards to form his backpack. If I can get in the tab in, there we go. Now we plug these in like so. Then we're going to rotate these hinges like that. And there you got an arm all done. Second verse, just like the first. Rotate the hinge up, up and inwards. And then rotate the arm down. Put down the robot mode head, if I can get it to work here. And here we got Cup in his robot mode. And he looks pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. And yeah, he's a good looking figure. He looks just like he came out of the 1986 movie. And yeah, that is pretty cool. Studio Series, you nailed Cup. I might have to pick up more of these because you nailed Cup's classic robot mode from 86. 
And what would be Cup without his blaster and his Energon goodie? Dispenser. Because in the G1, he was giving those to the Sharktacons as much as Hot Rod. So, a cool piece of engineering they put into this figure. Dig it. I just dig it. Now for comparisons. In this robot mode, before we look at articulation, going to tr transform the other two figures I put into robot mode, which I got their transfer into vehicle mode, then I got their transformation down. Not bad for memory, huh? You could say one thing about me, I got a photographic memory when it comes to transforming action figures that I've transformed more than once. Because when I first get the figures, I got to transform them, get used to their transformations, everything is necessary in my line of reviewing. But here we have Blur from Robots in Disguise, who is filling in for my 86 Blur fill-in until I get that Legacy Velocitron figure or the 86 Blur. But we got this Blur next to Cup, because he talks fast. Why not? And we are going to do a comparison with Hot Rod. I do have a Titan's Titan's Return hot rod, but I misplaced his head somewhere. And right now I have another Titan's Return head on his body, so there was no point in digging that out. Until I find his missing head somewhere. If not, I'll buy another figure that is in better shape. But for now, he's just sitting on the shelf. Got Hot Rod transformed. We're just giving him a gun. The gun I have for him. And here we got Hot Rod next to Cup. This is the Legacy Kingdom core class figure. And he is much bigger. Cup is much bigger than Hot Rod. Here he is next to another deluxe Autobot. Earthrise RC. And they are at the same scale with one another. Earthrise and Studio Series. With Blaster from Fall of Cybertron, I don't have a, a new Studio Series one or the uh, or the Kingdom or Legacy figure. If I find them loose, I'll definitely pick them up, but here he is next to Leader... Magnus? Leader Ultra Magnus. And C Cup is smaller than Ultra Magnus. And one final comparison. Here he is with Spike or Daniel. And bring in Hot Rod. Why not? And this is my little 86 Autobot collection as of this year. And we got quite a few. We're going to do a group shot of my 86 bots. We got RC, Ultra Magnus, Blur, if I can get Blur to stand, and Blaster. So we got most of the 86 cast. There are still some bots I'm missing for my 86 Autobot collection. I am missing a couple now. I need Springer, I need Rekgar, and I need the Perceptor and the Junkions. And then my collection will be mostly complete. Mostly complete as of this year. Do I highly recommend you pick up a Buzzworthy Studio Series Cup? Yes. If you can pick them up for amount I paid for him, he is worth the money used. Even with the instructions, he is pretty cool. 
And if you like this video, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and, okay. And I, and I thank you for all your subscribing and all your liking and commenting. And now this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.